just can't help themselves. Okay. No. One more time. We would time. be remiss if we didn't talk about the uh, Masonic, possibly Satanic, um, ties to the layout of Washington, D.C. So we have some video for you here. We'll see if we can get this to all work correctly, which I'm sure we will. So... This is George Washington, and he's laying the cornerstone of the Capitol building, and he's dressed in his Mason gear. Now, everybody just says the Masons, oh, it's just a, you know, a, a men's club, and it's you know to get together and share ideas and business and stuff. It's like you don't get a bunch of grown men to wear this stuff like this and dress up like this with for, for no good reason. Mm -hmm. You well, know what I mean? Well, hello, Hellfire Club. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're into some weird stuff. So yeah. this is the top view of Washington, D.C., uh, that's the White House, and then each one of these circles. See how it kind of expands from there, the, you know, and um, yeah, that's it's odd, right? Who? I mean, okay, I wonder what the the designer of the street layouts was like. Hey, by the way, let's go ahead and put this on there. So, according to um, this video, they were saying that it represents the flaming star. the The pentagram is the flaming star, which also represents. Um, the burning bush that spoke to Moses. So wow. it's not necessarily a satanic thing, just depending on how you look at it. Right. But there's so many stories about the Freemasons, we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole, but you can see with your own eyes. It's really interesting. And then how they're well, strategically placed. watch this placed. now too, sorry. Uh, yeah. So this is also the compass. And if you look. Okay, that, I, you, I, you did not show me that. So this is the Capitol building right here. This is the White House. This is the Lincoln Memorial. And like Why? all these points lead to something. And, I'll, and, I'll, and we'll go over that in just a second. And if you look at the, the, the streets, the way they're laid out, I mean, there's, there's some stuff over here too, but I mean, there's no reason to have all these roundabouts and everything. And, and we'll do the Google Earth thing too, but you can see that it's like, it's, it's odd that they did it that way. It really is. You know, it, there's always, it, and they're that's plan the Washington Memorial right there. Yeah. I mean, they're planning a building. They're planning this whole entire you know, city, you yeah. know, the capital. Yeah, the city hasn't changed since 1776. Right. So it's just, it's definitely strange. It really is. It kind of makes you wonder, you know, what's the, why? Like, what's what's the purpose here? Um. Well, like we said, I mean, it's like, these guys weren't up to nothing. You know what I mean? It's like, they they always had something going. I mean, they, they were dressing in these crazy get-ups. Yep. So... If you look at this guy, so this is the White House, and then each one of those circles is like a park, and they're all dedicated to someone, and all these guys are Freemasons. Now, that would make sense, since everybody who built the country was a Freemason. Right. And it's in a pentagram, but it, I mean, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, no, it's not a pentagram, it's just a coincidence, you're being a conspiracy theory. It's like, um... What is that? Like, you can't... Like, honestly, you, there's there's things that you just can't... It's like, it's just in front of you. I mean, it's right in front of your face. Like, yeah. this is what this is. So, and this is it right here. The White House. Okay. Mount Vernon Square, Logan Circle, DuPont Circle, Washington Circle Park. You wow. Know? And then if, and if you think about it too, it's like each point is a circle at the top with the being crossed like that, that which looks like the compass from the, um, the Freemason compass. My gosh. So it's no, it's no small wonder that they did it that way. I mean, they, I, I believe what I see with my own eyes. Yeah. I mean, you can't, <laughs> again, you cannot make this up. This was strategically placed on here for a reason. It looks like it to me. So let's look at Washington, D.C. All right. Through the magic of Google. I love that they do this. Me too. And then. There it is. I mean, you can. I mean, once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. Yeah. There's. There. This is the uh, White House here. Uh huh. It goes up to here. Logan Square. Yep. Here and then here and then um, that's the Capitol building. Whoops. So and everything um, goes out from there. So it's it's definitely. Oh no, here's the Capitol building. Sorry, it goes out to here. Yep. Oh, weird. The International Spy Museum is right there at the end. Huh. Things that make then, you go hmm. Yeah, the, and then the end of this compass is at the white is at the White House as well. So everything is kind of connected to each other. Which it really is very is. very strange. I mean, there's there's a lot of I mean, even biblical things. There's a museum of the Bible, 
You know what I mean? There's a whole bunch of just very, that was you. Um, there's a whole bunch of just like religious things that are even associated with it, which is awesome. But it's like, again, why, why all of this? Well, I mean, everybody's, I mean, you hear a lot of people say, well, it's just coincidence. It's a conspiracy theory. It's like, you can see with the map right here, there's only one pentagram with circles on the end of it. It yep. kind of sticks out. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Exactly. And if you guys ever did a Google search for pentagrams in the maps, there's not many. There's this one, and I think there's one over in, um, like, the Middle East that I was looking up because I want to look them up. I mean, this isn't a common – so I guess I'm saying is that this isn't a common layout for a street. You know what I mean? No. It's where we live, streets go – North, North and south, south <laughs> east and west. And that's it. And that's it. Now, a lot of these old cities, I mean, I'll give them this. Like Boston, the reason why Boston is such a gnarled mess is because it used to be where they, I mean, the, the streets were just built on top of where they used to run cows through. Okay. But that's that's one city. You know well, what I mean? San, and now and it's San a Francisco mess. is another one, yeah. which is, but I mean, all, all San modern Francisco. cities, yeah. All modern cities are, are not built like this. I mean, now, don't get me wrong. You can see over here on the right. I mean, there's some. You can see the major streets go through like a triangle. It's not necessarily built like this one is, but this one has distinct circular ends on it. Mm -hmm. Then followed by, I mean, and then there's also buildings at the end. So if they wanted to, I mean, so let's it's, let's just say that they wanted to, you know, honor these, you know, these masons. You know, it's like okay, why not do it in I don't know a different shape other than a pentagram. Well, that was a big thing for them. And it was all, it's all about symbology and it's all about leaving your mark. And it's all about, um, I mean, it's, it's everywhere if you know what you're looking yeah. for. So this, this is a big deal to them. And actually we can look that up here real fast, but talking about Freemasonry, I mean, and again, it's like, you know, just, you tell me what you see top, right. I mean, this is like a guy dressed in robes that with a death's head on it you know and the I compass mean, and all this is stuff. that real that's not real that's real that's real what, like um again hellfire club you know what I mean? like there's i mean you have grown men dressed up in top hats and aprons and all kinds where can of we stuff. sign you up for this cause, <laughs> well i mean and look at this place i mean these places I, that's there's not a money cheap. no that's money there's an investment in here so why are they I mean that's the place in London the secret masonic temple in London So can anybody can anybody be a freemason? I don't know. As a matter of fact, we should probably not even be talking about this. Yeah. This is the Phoenix Lodge. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's West Zurich. Nashville. Oh, West Nashville? Yeah, that was West Nashville Phoenix Lodge. I mean, these are pretty elaborate. It almost so, kind of looks like a church. Yeah. So I you, mean, again, tell me what you see with your own eyes. You know, the, obviously the, there's some money and some thought and some effort and some grown men doing some stuff. <laughs> and then know? how do they get all the money for this? Uh, who knows? Who knows? But yeah. So the it, fact that they have the a history. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that they have a uh, city that they and the country that they founded yeah. set up in a pentagram after all their symbology would make a lot of sense. So is it satanic? I don't know. Depending on which, which way you look and who you talk to, they'll say that the Freemasons are totally satanic and they're evil. And there's other people who say that they're totally good and they're the good force behind right. stuff that's happening. But the one thing that I do believe is that um, evil forces, and this, is, this has nothing to do with you know necessarily Satan. It's just, it's just good military tactics. If, if you have a, a larger enemy... It's not a good idea to go ahead and take them head on. You know what right. I mean? Like if you want to take over the Freemasons, you don't just go knock on the door and say, hey, this is war. What you do is you start getting people who think like you do and you start becoming members and you start putting – get yourself up in the ranks okay. and then you start subverting them from within. All right. So if they are evil, if they weren't evil before, they might be evil now because evil people have gotten in there and they've taken control. Okay. And it's a lot like they said with – you know some of the churches, some of a lot of the institutions that yeah. have gone sour now is that they've been taken over from the inside. And that's not only what Satan does, he, he corrupts everything from within, right. but it's also what evil forces all over the earth, like communists and everybody have been doing since the beginning of time. So well, exactly. I mean, if you can get enough, I mean, so again, if we're going to be talking about that, you know, it's going to be this negative energy, this low negative energy. You have to think like me and it feeds on each other. So when you get enough bad people in a room, you know what I mean? Things can actually start to... Well, especially once you get people in power who can start to oust all the people with who, money. Don't, yeah, who don't think like them. Yeah. Like, hey, you're down with the program or you're gone. So... 
Maybe that's what happened to him. We don't know. That's uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's a, a real interesting one. I know. <laughs>